Hello, I'm the Bullmeister. And welcome to Revelations Persona, the new RPG game for this time slot. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so, Revelations... Oops. Revelation Persona is the first of the Persona subset in the Shin Megami Tensei series. So before the video starts again, let's step right on in. Now loading. Wait up, Brad. We're gonna play Persona. What? Are you stupid? Mark is a troublemaker who gets into mischief. He doesn't get along with Nate. No, you're stupid. Persona will work. Trust me. Man will even bet you on it. Brad demands a lot of attention. He's conceited and very irresponsible. Alright then. The loser treats us all to dinner at Peace Diners. Okay, I'll bet on Brad. Elena is a troublemaker and a total airhead. She's very irresponsible. I bet on Brad too. Ella... Ellen studied in Europe and came back to America with beauty and knowledge. Hey, wait up! What's going on here? Hey, Yuki, which side are you on? Shh, I don't care. Nate is the heir to the Trinity Family Trust. He's very bossy. I don't care either. Do whatever you guys like. Yuki, a very trustworthy and responsible girl who many students respect and trust. Shh, you guys suck as usual. What about you? Who are you gonna bet on? You're on me, right? So what's up? Should we bet on Mark or should we bet on Brad? We're gonna go ahead, well, let's bet on Mark. You'll regret it! You'll be sorry! Okay, let's begin! Okay, so what's going on? Here I go! Um, Persona, Persona, please come to us! Walks over. Persona, Persona, come here! Damn! Why the heck are we doing this? Come on, this is all for you. This is for all you can eat. Hurry up! Okay, okay. Persona, come here. Okay, it's my turn. Persona, Persona, please come to us. Rest of us hang out. Here it comes. What? <clears throat> hey, Brad, don't I look stupid now? Ah, yeah, what's up now? Looks like I win. Are you happy now? Let's go. Wait, let's try one more time, okay? Mark didn't try hard enough. Shut the heck up. Don't be trying to blame me for your own mistakes. However, we're just being a little impatient. Hey, Mark, what's behind you? What's up? Don't be trying to trick me. The bed's still on. What the? What is that? Is it real? Last time we did this, we only heard sounds. This time we're seeing Im images. See, I told you something would happen. Now do you believe me? <laughs> Help me. Help. <coughs> Can't least to sit on my table, so I gotta move the console. What? Strike. What's happening? 
It's fantastic! It's so intriguing! Ah! Watch out, everybody! Ah! Strike! 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 Now loading. And here we go. Head your head for a second. <coughs> Follow the butterfly. The butterfly of fate. Into this weird area. There's a clock. Passage of time representing. Some math or science equation. It's a math equation, but I don't know if it connects. There's some science and stuff. And the door opens. What door does it? Is it? Does it? Is it? I don't know. Let's find out here in a second, shall we? Who are you? Welcome. My name is Philemon. I live between the world of consciousness and unconsciousness. I don't know if there's subtitles, so guys. So tell me, who are you? That's a good question. <coughs> who am I? And of course, my name is gonna be gonna be Baudry. Well, because that's just as many letters. It'll, I think it gives me eight characters, but excellent. There are not many who know their own identity when they have come to this point. It seems you have passed the first test. By the way, have you noticed you carry more than one you in yourself? Perhaps the merciful you, the graceful angel you, or the cruel demonic you. We live behind many masks. <laughs> you may at this very moment be living behind many masks. But you claimed your name, proving you know who you really are. I admire your strong will and bestow my power unto you. His hands read me out. Persona, the power to call on others within you. Sometimes merciful, sometimes cruel. These cells are embedded deep within your soul. This power will help you through your quest into the future. Go back now into your world. The world that's locked between time and space. <coughs> Sorry folks, for all the coughing. I don't know why I'm coughing. But... So you guys all had the same dream. Wow, how weird. Maybe he's having the same dream, too. Oh, Baudry, you're finally awake! Welcome to the school's infirmary. How are you feeling? Dr. Beverly is the school doctor. Cooking is not one of her specialties. Baudry, are you okay? Good, I'm glad you're awake now. Baudry, don't you ever do that to me. I was worried sick when I heard you passed out. Mrs. Smith is a sweet person with a bright personality. She is Baudry's teacher. And it's Miss Smith, excuse me. Thank you, doctor, for taking care of my students. Well, she is a doctor. That's what she's supposed to do. It's no big deal. Mark, don't be so rude. Anyway, Ellen and... Uh, <laughs> don't know if I even pronounced her name right the first time. Uh, Alana told me everything that happened. I think that all of you should go to the hospital for a checkup. Mark, you can forget detention today. Just go with everyone to the hospital. Why? Do you think there's something wrong with us? I can see you're all fine just by looking at you. But you could have bumped your head when you fell, so go have yourselves checked. Sometimes you worry about us too much. Okay, we'll go to the hospital. Miss Smith, are you ta talking about the hospital where one of your students is being treated? You mean Mary? Yes, she's been there for a while now. 
I'm sure she'll be very happy if you guys went to pay her a visit. We got an herb out of the box. Give me a second. It's going to get a little bit used to the controls. I thought I just asked you guys to prepare for the track meet. I still don't know why you... you I still don't know why you four were found unconscious. Anyway, we only have a month to prepare for this meet, and we're still far behind. Maybe we should just cancel the meet. I would go insane if I stayed in the hospital as long as Mary has. Let's go cheer her up. The hospital? Yeah, it's pretty damn far from here. It's toward the northeast part of the town. Just look on the map to see how to get there. Oh well, we'll get there eventually if we walk around. Let's just hurry up and take care of this. I have other things to do. What do you think of our new plant? Isn't it pretty? I heard it's good to talk to your plants. Well, you should talk to it too sometimes. Okay, I guess I'll... Nothing. <coughs> I guess I'll go talk to a plant. Yep, so I faced the plant. Augustus Tree! Welcome, young adventurers! Would you like to save your adventures? Sure. Save. First slot. Yes. Second file, please do not remove the memory card. File has been saved. Nothing. Okay. Not quite sure what all these are supposed to do. Analyze, I guess. That was when I hit. That was R2. Okay. I guess let's head out to Dungeon. Now loading. Could explore around the school a little bit, I guess, right? Walking sound is so weird in this game. <laughs> I guess let's go all the way upstairs. Why not? Let's enter. Let's enter some classrooms. See what's up. There was always something special about Mary's paintings. I've seen one of Mary's paintings called Gate to Paradise. <clears throat> they even received some awards. We don't have enough members here. Mary has been absent due to her sickness, and Selena is missing. You know what happened to those two? I don't know. You don't know? This art club is probably cursed. <coughs> Excuse me. Again, no... The walk sound is so weird in this game. Mary was a great painter. Hey, Baldry, let's go to the hospital. Yeah, I know. We're working on it. <clears throat> I think we were in there. Let's try 3B. Love thy neighbor. Nothing there. Nope. Come on. Come on. Get out of there. Oh, come on. Direction else. <coughs> this job doesn't suit me. I'm Ira Guido. He would have tr just turned this stupid job down without giving it a second thought. I would turn this job too if I could be like him. Student body president isn't very enthusiastic. He doesn't care about anything. His mentor is the 18th president, Guido. Do you know him? He successfully graduated the school, so now one of the heads of Sebek. Sebek. Yep. 
nothing. Our president makes us do all the work while he just sits on his butt. Who made him president? I wish I was the president and I could smack him. Nothing. I think we should just elect someone else to be our student body president. Damn, that punk makes me mad. Who does he think he is? Anyway, we need to go see... I mean, go to the hospital. He's not a capable man if he can't even handle being the student body president. <clears throat> I'm not capable of controlling myself. Let's be honest here. Alright, so that's 3B. 3B or not 3B, that is the question. Let's see what 3A has. Oops. <laughs> I think this is the library anyway, so... No! Keep trying to go forward. What's up? What are we doing here? Let's go to the hospital. Very impatient, man. I think that the I think that I think that those two people in the corner are making fun of Kane. I have more respect for Kane than those fools over there. Kane has his own beliefs. Is this Kane over here in the books? Oh, Baldry! Hey! <clears throat> I'm doing a research. I'm doing a I'm doing a research on the seven wonders of the school. How to be sure I read that right? Do you want to know what I got? I'll tell you later. Kane is a very strange person. He likes to study myths from different countries. That's Kane over there. He fell during PE class today. <coughs> Everyone is laughing. He can't even do one push-up. I feel sorry for him. I'm sure that there are, de are some demons that don't get, don't get along with each other. I was just thinking that if they were to fight, it wouldn't be a pretty sight. Kane is cool, but he's crazy. Sometimes he talks about weird stuff. I know more about religion than he can even imagine. Kane is way out of line. Alright. So let's go. Alright, so we visited 3A. Three, one. Go. Oh. That Dr. Beverly is so fine. Hello, nurse. I'll do anything to get to her. But you get her. Oh, really? Why don't you just go eat in the infirmary then? Oh, I'm sorry. Damn, you don't have to be like that. How rude, students. Doesn't appear, appear to be anything here, so let's just get out of here. <clears throat> I mean, if you've played enough RPGs, you know the first rule of RPGs is to search doors locked. <coughs> doors locked. Just to search everywhere you can. Just to see if anybody or anything has anything fun and exciting they want to share or any hints. I always try to knock twice, but I always try not to knock. I, I always try not to walk by the Sebec building during night. They built that building over the haunted house, and I heard that it's cursed. Okay, cursed building, my kind, my favorite kind of building. <coughs> Excuse me. Door is locked, and you can't get in. Door is locked, and you can't get in. Alright. I guess we'll head downstairs and... Make our next round trip. And we're just looking for something. Maybe items. Um, excuse me. 
Audrey, are you going to the hospital? <clears throat> TJ is a close friend of Mary. She works part-time to help her family out. Can you please tell Mary that I'll bring her book back next time I go visit? Will you please? Okay. Thank you. I hope I'm not bothering you or anything. That book was really good. I want to read it again. What's it called? It's called Gate to Paradise. Damn, that's deep. Mary reads books like that? <clears throat> if you like it so much, then why don't you just buy your own copy? Um, actually, it's a bit expensive. And I have to buy new clothes for my brother. Damn you, Nate. How can you so ask such a rude question? Anyways, we have to go see Mary now. Don't worry about it. We'll tell her. Did we go see Mary? Oh, nope. Let's <coughs> say it just kicks us out. Door is locked. So we'll skip that class room. Okay. Doesn't appear to be anything in here, so let's go. I'm afraid of what I'll find at the, the full moon. Or, you know, at the 8 of 8. Let's see, we're just exploring room by room. If we find any treasure, cool. If not, then we'll just head down the next floor. There's two A. Think Chunky is brave. That guy just went up to Alana and asked her out. Heck no, I wouldn't ever do something like that. That must be Chunky. Come on, talk to him. There you go. I I had the weirdest dream. It was about a little girl that was crying for help. Maybe that dream was trying to tell me something. Maybe there's a girl out there that needs my help. How cool. Chunky is the school's wrestling champ. He's strong, but not gullible. Let's, let's go. <clears throat> so to be, or not to be, that is the question. Oh. Why don't you just forget about Bruce? He eloped with this girl. It's already been two, it's already been two months since they both disappeared. No, it's a lie. Bruce is just being tricked by Selena. I don't even know how she got him in the first place. I just know that it's not her personality because it sucks. Okay. Nothing. All right. Again, yeah, nice, nice to pick up these nice little brief story moments. Story, not even story bits, as it were. Of course, there's a whole other hallway with that one. I probably missed it on the other side, too, didn't I? Oh. I guess I already have been in this room. Same scene. Let's head in here. No story note, so... Let's just head down. Nope. And I remember there's two doors to every... Can't get in. It's like there's two rooms, or two rooms to every... Or two, two doors to every classroom. Excuse me. <coughs> Door's locked. All right. So down the stairs we shall head. Walk in the walls here. Doors locked, and he can't get in. Which makes me wonder if there's, because there's two different door dialogues, that there's two, uh, that there are some keys eventually that we can gather.
Door is locked and you can't get in. Because there's there's just the ones that say the door is locked, and there's the other ones that say the door is locked and you can't get in. Oh, hey, I thought I told you guys to go to the hospital. <clears throat> I'm going, I'm going. So one B. And this is... How pretty. So it's true that Dr. Cotter loves flowers. Must be the principal's office. Exploration is fine, Bogaroo, but we must go to the hospital. Okay. Fine. I guess we'll finally go to the... Go to the hospital. That's the way out. <clears throat> oh, story time. You guys are sloths. Let's so hurry up and pay a visit to our friend Mary. What's up with Nate? Damn, he pisses me off. I'll probably never like him. Nate, Mark, grow up. Sir Knight! <coughs> ah! Alfred! What a pretty sight! Sir Knight is with his friends, talking and walking together. I... I'm so happy! Alfred is the butler at the Trinity Mansion. He treats Nate as if he was his own son. Sir... Sir Nate? Ah! Alfred! I thought I told you to stop calling me that! <coughs> what the... Sir Nate? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Mark, you stupid pest. <coughs> Alfred, go home. I'm going somewhere for my friends today. Shall I get the limo for you and your friends, Sir Nate? There's no need for that. We're just going to the hospital. Stop calling me that. Hospital? Are you injured, Sir Nate? Shh. <laughs> Damn it. Let's go, Bodery. Don't follow us, Alfred. Now loading. Alright, and that's where we're going to end the episode here. Thanks so much for watching. Next time, we'll start out with looking at the uh, menu screen. <clears throat> and until then, I have been obediently yours.